All right, just a quick demo video on how to start and operate your 826 yard machine snowblower. This will apply to generally all snowblowers, uh, mostly to come to powered. But uh, this one's generally from 8 to 10 as they all look the same. So um, this one has a fuel shuttle valve. So let's just make sure it's not in the off. See here, off. If this was here, that means there's no fuel flow going into the carburetor. Open it this way, it's in the on position, you have fuel flow. All right, this machine has electric start, so we're gonna have it plugged in. Here is your choke levers. So this is your speed up and down. See, if you wanna turn off the machine, we're gonna put it towards stop, but we're gonna start. So we'll lay up to the rabbit. Make sure this key is in. That's your safety, okay? And then choke is all the way to the right, so it's all the way applied. I'm gonna apply them in a few times. Put air into the carburetor, and you can either pull it or hit the button. So we're gonna hit the button. All right, so I'm gonna step away. So as it's running, you know, we're going to let it warm up a little bit and then we're going to apply the choke all the way up so we're going to take it completely off. And of course we're going to disconnect. So I put it down to stop to shut it off, but let's just go for it. You have two speeds reverse, six speed forward. You really want to be blowing snow in speeds anywhere from one to three. I feel four, five, and six are for transportation purposes only. If you're going up ramps or going up through a driveway where you're not blowing snow and you want to go faster, put it into six or faster. Obviously your reverse speeds, right? So this machine is labeled drive for the front wheels and auger is to blow snow. So let's just see. Yeah, so this machine doesn't have an auger lock. So if it had an auger lock, then you'd be able to hold this down and this would stay. So that's not gonna happen. Compared to a machine like this, this one has auger lock. See here, it stays down. This machine doesn't. So when you're blowing snow, two hands all the time. Um, but if you're used to drive, you're gonna have the auger down, it's just gonna be also allowed to be moving. But drive down, auger down, and you're blowing snow in your speed. Alright? Any questions, let me know.